a chisel is one of those tools that I never really think about until I need one. Then when I need one, nothing else will suffice. If you look in your tool drawer, you will find a flathead screwdriver that has been treated very badly. The ends are not true, everything's banged up, it won't really even fit in screws anymore, you're better off using a dime. You know it's a decent quality steel, you just have to rip it down to its essentials and then build it back up again in a better form as a chisel. First, you need to get it to its rough shape. If it's not symmetrical, make it so. Next, you have to approximate the chisel shape. I used one that was flat on the bottom, the other side was about a 25 degree angle. The metal has been shaped, but it's still a screwdriver in a weird shape. You need to normalize that steel. Heat it up until it is red. You need to let it cool slowly. You need to normalize the metal. Heat it up again until it no longer attracts a magnet. It has gone from tool steel to steel of infinite possibilities, exactly where you want it. The metal is now in flux. What can happen, what can happen, what can happen? What you do is you quench it. Now we're getting somewhere. However, it's still gonna be brittle. You have to draw the temper as you would with a knife or a sword that you're making. You clean off all the oil, get it so the metal is shiny enough that you can see any color changes. When the chisel becomes a straw yellow, you know that you have a hardness that you can use. You take sandpaper, you put it on a perfectly flat surface. I used a piece of glass and glued on the back using different grades of sandpaper, first getting the shape, and then finer and finer and finer, refining the blade until you have a blade that is kind of terrifying. Last step is to strop it just as a barber would his straight razor. All of these things are null if it doesn't do what a chisel is supposed to do. It needs to cut out nice, even curves of wood. It's no longer a screwdriver, it's now a chisel. Small chisels that are ergonomically built to fit your hand are kind of hard to find. Even if you are a woodworker, I think you might want to sacrifice a screwdriver or two.